Hello. Recently, I had a question about how to uh, manage wipes uh, on mixed uh, elements. So you have uh, some pixel elements and some analog or discrete, you know, elements using incandescent or LED strings. You know, they're they're fixed color strings, and you've got your display set up where you have the pixel elements and then the, the analog strings. You know, defined with the colors they support. What if you want to do wipes across all of those? Uh, you can do them in, in various ways, and uh, the simplistic way, you know, is you know you just basically get the colors that that work together, and it doesn't allow you to use the whole thing. So I'm going to show an example here of some various ways to do this. So um, I'm going to start with um, uh, some elements from from my display here. So on the left hand side here, this is a pure pixel tree. Uh, these items in here are mini trees. They have uh, yeah, multiple strings of red, green, and blue. Uh, this is another big string tree here that supports red, green, and blue strings. You know, more of the four on the side here. Same thing, red, green, and blue strings. And another full pixel tree on, on the end here. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to work with these elements here to kind of demonstrate you know, how, to, how to marry the two of them together, the, the discrete analog type elements here along with the modern pixel ones on, on the right. That kind of gives you a, a look about how the um, display is organized. So the first thing that you, you can do is just take a, a simple wipe here. And I've chosen red. You know, in this case, I'm putting it on a group that has all the elements on it. Uh, all the elements support red, so all of my strings have red on them. The pixel tree obviously supports any color. So at this point, you know, I can make this wipe uh, any, any of the three colors that all the other, all the underlying elements support as a whole. So they all support red, green, or blue. So um, in this case here, I've, I've got them red. I can go drop um, a blue on here. And then everything changes, and now it's you know it's all blue. So that that's a basic wipe across some all of them. But um, and that works fine if you want you know a wipe of one color that everything supports. But you know that can be kind of mundane or simple at that point. And you you might want to be a little more creative, where um, you start taking a look and saying, so you know maybe I want my pixel tree on the left to be yellow. The the mini trees. The, on the next portion of it to be red, um, the big mega tree in the middle I want it to be green, and then the four mini trees on the right I want them to be blue, and then the pixel tree on the end I want to be purple. So I've got you know all the colors you know independently everything supports here. I can't do this with the wipe all by my all by itself. So so what I end up having to do is is change this around. And uh, use layering to my advantage here. So I've created an intensity overlay layer here, one of the most common layers here. And I'm going to use the wipe in that layer to modify the colors that I've put on these other elements. So if I take a look at all these elements here together and light lit up, you can see I've got the yellow, the red, the green, the blue, and the purple, just like I want all solid on. But I want to do a wipe across these and, and maintain those colors. So what I've done is I've gone into and I've dropped a wipe effect on here. And I've actually added um, all the colors in the um, discrete to the um, to the selection here. So I've you know chosen all three of those colors in the in the discrete setup there. And then I've also added a um, set level or uh, you know set level a pulse effect in here. And I've set all three of them in here. And I've set the intensity down to one. I'm going to use this to fill in the gaps in, in the wipe here. And then I both put both of these into the intensity overlay layer. So there you can see they're both in the intensity overlay layer. These are all in just a default layer. So now if I, um, I take all of these and I wind them together, now you see the wipe is actually modifying the, the behavior of all of the elements across there. So it's taking these these um, set level effects that are turned on and modifying their intensity to to be off or on based on where the wipe goes. So now I get a wipe across all of these items um, in the colors that I wanted them to be in. So that, that gives me a lot more creative um, ability at that point from, from that standpoint. 
So then taking this one step further, then I can take in uh, on the pixel tree themselves, I can add other effects. So I can have a butterfly going over here. Um, I've got a butterfly showing here. The same setup on the other elements. I, I just copied over the, the, the pulse and the wipe that I had before there. And then if I light the, all of these up together, now you see the wipe going across and I get the effects on the on the pixel trees that I'm I'm after there as well. So this gives me pretty good flexibility to be able to do a wipe across many different uh, elements in my display all at once. I just have to be a little more creative with using the layering system uh, to make it happen. So hopefully that helps some of you guys out trying to uh, manage this kind of a scenario.